time. We aim to finish prop loading on the first stage. We aim to finish prop loading on the first stage by T minus three minutes and second stage at T minus two minutes to minimize how long the liquid oxygen could start to warm up. Then at a minute before liftoff, you'll hear that Falcon 9 is in startup. That means that the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. And just inside T minus two seconds, the Merlin 1D engines will light up and then we're set for T zero. Waiting for that call out for LOX load on second stage. Stage two, LOX load complete. There it is. Now both first and second stage are fully loaded with propellant. The Starlink payload continues to be healthy and the Falcon 9 team is tracking no issues on the vehicle. Weather is still looking amazing and you can see the blue skies there on your screen. And the range is green for launch. Now, as I mentioned, you can see the white clouds coming from the transporter erector again. That is the liquid oxygen that we are venting out, clearing those lines on the transporter erector. Welcome on, it's in startup. And there's that call out that the Falcon 9's computers have taken over the launch countdown, just waiting for the final go from the launch director. LD, go for launch. And all systems are now go for launch. So let's listen into the terminal count and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 46 Starlink satellites to space. T minus 30 seconds. SES-1, and then fairing deploy. So main engine cutoff is where all nine of the M1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle uh, down in preparation for the next event, which is stage separation. And that is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Right after stage separation, the first stage will, make, will start making its way back to Earth for landing. And while we are able to land the first stage... While we are able to land the first stage both on land and at sea on our drone ship, today we will attempt to recover the first stage uh, on today's mission on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Now while this is happening, stage two will continue on its journey with the third event, which is SES-1, or second stage engine start one. That's where the MVAC engine lights up and propels the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. Just a few seconds after that, 
will have fairing deploy. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And great views on your screen. We just saw Miko stage separation, SES-1 and fairing deploy. On your left-hand screen is the first stage. Right-hand screen is a view of the NBAC engine. And those visual confirmations mean that we have successfully uh, deployed our fairing halves. SpaceX has reflown Falcon fairing halves since 2019. And the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flying for the third time. Improvements on the fairing and our overall refurbishment process has decreased the impact of water landings and led to an overall fairing recovery rate of 93% over the last 14 missions. Of 109 fairing missions, 73 have been recovered and 32 missions have flown recovered fairing halves. And again, we will be attempting to recover the halves again today using our recovery vessel, Doug. Some great views here as stage two heads towards its targeted drop off orbit. Stage one will complete two burns in order to make it back to Earth. The first is the entry burn, where three of those nine M1D engines will reignite. That helps to slow the stage down as it re enters back into the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Position signal, Bermuda. Then the second burn for the first stage is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn on the center E9 engine. And the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. Stage two is still looking good on a nominal trajectory. On your left hand screen, you can see those grid fins on the first stage, helping to guide the vehicle back to its landing zone. Now, if you're just now joining us, we've had a successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Slick 40 today. Right now, you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9's second stage on the right-hand screen. And that was just a call out for a nominal trajectory on second stage. Stage 1 is currently making its way back to our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. And today is the 38th launch of Starlink satellites overall, the seventh mission of 2022, fourth Starlink mission of 2022, and the 145th total overall SpaceX launch. We're just about a minute away from the entry burn start on the stage. The Merlin engines on the first stage are optimized for sea level. These achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent. That's when we lift off or fly um, towards space. And descent, and that's when we come back down to Earth. Now, the MVAC engine is optimized for 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. And that's what you're seeing on your right-hand screen.